Hello everyone, this is Grace. It is April the 12th, 2023, and we are continuing our study in the Book of Enoch. We were looking at the Book of the Courses of the Heavenly Luminaries, Chapter 72, The Sun, and we left off at verse 19. So let's get back there, and we'll continue on. And the sun goes forth from the, that fifth portal and sets in the fifth portal of the west and rises in the fourth portal for one and thirty mornings on account of its sign and sets in the west. On that day the day is equalized with the night and becomes of equal length. And the night amounts to nine parts and the day amounts and the day to nine parts. And the sun rises from that portal and sets in the west, and returns to the east and rises thirty mornings in the third portal and sets in the west in the third portal. And on that day the night becomes longer than the day, and the night becomes longer than the night, and the day shorter than day till the thirtieth morning. So it's a gradual increase, and that's with all of them. Um, but it's um, it's the night that's increasing here. Okay? And the night amounts exactly to ten parts and the day to eight parts. And the sun rises from the, that third portal and sets in the third portal in the west and returns to the east. That's on the, the last day. And for thirty mornings it rises in the second portal in the east and in like manner sets in the second portal in the west of the heaven and on that day the night amounts to eleven parts and the day to seven parts because the night is suddenly the night is getting longer and longer and the sun rises on that day from that second portal and sets in the west in the second portal because it, the, the night is getting longer and longer because the sun takes its is able to, to traverse the area faster. Um, let me start that sentence over. And the sun rises on that day from the second portal and sets in the west in the second portal and returns to the east into the first portal for one and thirty mornings and sets in the first portal in the west of the heaven. And on that day the night becomes longer and amounts to double of the day. We looked at that graph before. Hold on. Well, it's not a graph, but we looked at that before. Right here. It's double the day. On that day, the night becomes longer and amounts to the double of the day. And the night amounts exactly to 12 parts and the day to 6. And the sun has therewith traversed the divisions of his orbit and turns again on those divisions of his orbit and enters that portal 30 mornings and sets also in the west opposite of it. And on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part. And the night has become 11 parts and the day 7 parts. Okay, we'll stop here for a moment. When we look at the explanations that are given, we will see, and on that day, the day becomes longer, and on that day, the day decreases, and on that day, the day is equalized, and on that day, the night becomes longer than the day, and on that day, the night becomes longer, and on that day, well, here it changes, to, and on that night, the night decreased in length by a ninth part. Now, let me, I mentioned it before, that when we add up all these days together, we get 364 days. We know that there are 365.25 days in a year. Okay, so that's a problem. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I believe it's 364 days. I didn't do any calculations. I do any, didn't do any tests. But I'm going to present a theory. And I'll, I'll just show you the theory. 
the reason why I believe that the reason why this changed is because the night, the day overtakes the night here. This is why it says instead of on that day, the night becomes longer, or on that day, the night decreases. It says on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part because the day overtakes the night it does not complete the full night so everything I said about the day takes this long and the nights this long no it changes here here the night the day actually overtakes the portion of the night because it moves so fast that the night does not have time to complete I'll show you why I say that I'll show you the illustrations here let me find the correct one first Oh, hold on a moment. Let me show you this. This is an analemma. And we've discussed this before. If you take a stick and you poke it in the ground, and whenever at high noon you mark the shadow, if at high noon you mark the shadow where the sun is at, then this is what you will see. It's called an analemma. It shows you where the sun is at exactly in the sky at high noon. Now this is backward. it's backwards. It has March here because it's a, it's a sky view. This is the view that we would have ideally. The beginning of the year would be over here and then it would go on from there. Okay, this is what we would see. But so I drew us an analemma. Hold on. This is ours. And these are the months. First month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then twelve is the space here. Six is the space right here. And then this is the portals. This is the fourth portal. Fifth, six, six, fifth, fourth, fourth, taking up this space. Third, second, first, first, second, third, and then again back to the fourth for the beginning of the year. We're going to just to see the path of the sun, we're going to draw it. So this is the easier one here. So we'll do this first. Okay, so let's select the color. Mm, hold on. Okay. So we will start. Let's see. Okay, we'll just start here for the beginning of the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the beginning of the year. Now, the definition in the in the book of Enoch, one of the, this is very important. In the book of Enoch, you must have the the definition of a day is you must have a, the sun rise within the eastern portal and the sun must set within the western portal. That's a day. It tells us at the beginning that, that it comes it rises from what does it tell us? Hold on. It doesn't tell you where it comes from, where it comes from it, or where it needs to start from. Hold on. It just says it comes from the north. The sun goes down from the heaven and returns through the north in order to reach the east. That's all we know is that it's going from the north in order and in, <laughs> in order to reach the east. Yeah, so it doesn't have a, a start point. But it requires that it goes through the fir it goes through the portal um, to rise, the eastern portal to rise, and the western portal to set. And if it does that, then it counts it as a day. So where were we here? Okay. So let's go back to our illustration here. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this out. So we know it's going to rise from the east. Now, ideally, 
we would have the upper half here and then we'd have to double it so that the sun could traverse it all the way out and go all the way around. We don't need that. We're just going to do half and half. So the sun's going to go up. It's going to go around the earth, come back, and it stops at the second month. Now, of course, there would be like, oops, there would be 30 of these here. We're just skipping all of that and going straight to the second month. So let's choose a different color. So the second month, it goes up and it goes around and it goes to the third month. You see how it's incomplete? It's short each month. There's a little bit of space that's left over each, each month that it goes by. So we're going to start from the third month. And we're going to go around and it stops at the fourth month. Big gap there now, but it still counts because the sun has risen in the east and it has set for us. We're up here somewhere. All right, it's going to circle around again. That's okay. <laughs> but if you're down here, there's a problem. You have to wait. <laughs> but we're here. So we're going to get circled every time. We're up here somewhere. Okay, so we're at the fourth month. Let's select another color. Oh, I shouldn't have selected that. It is. We'll just go with it. So we go up, around, and then we stop at the fifth month. And then we go from the fifth month to the sixth month. And those are our six months. So let's undo that because those are the easy. Oops. All right, I don't know how to redo it, so let's just leave it. And that's the easy one. So let's look at our. I forgot to show you this. This is my analemma here. I showed you that. And so this is the top portion. So this is. It's the fourth month here. This is the second half of the fourth month. And then the third, no, portal, portal. Fourth portal, third portal, second portal, first port, portal, first portal, second portal, and then the third portal would go down here into the third portal. All right, so let's start drawing our circles here. So we we're going to start from the sixth month and we're going to go around and we will stop at the third portal for the seventh month. Okay? Now there's a you can see that there's a double loop here. The person that lives here, they've had two days go by. This is a theory. <laughs> this is just a theory, okay? It's not I listen. Let me well let me explain it to you first. So we're at the seventh month. I forgot to put the numbers on here. So now we're gonna go around. Gonna go all the way around. And we're gonna stop at the eighth month. Now we're gonna go around. We're going to go all the way around and we're going to stop at the ninth month. And we we'll use red here. Now there has to be a sunrise and a sunset. So now we have to go all the way around. There has to be a sunrise, there has to be a sunset. So we're going to have to go all the way around twice. There's definitely two days here. And we stop at the whatever month that is. I forgot to mark that. So this is, this is doubled. Don't be confused by the gaps that you see here in the blue and the other colors. Because if we were to go day by day, there would just be a second loop here that's closer and then it would have to go around again and it'll be still closer so we just skipped all of that and jumped right to the next day okay so don't be confused by the big gap here but here 
when it's going around in the red it would go around and it would stop here and then it would go and then it would have to go all the way around again and it would get closer so it's still going to be overlapping no matter what it's just that each day it overlaps a little bit more until the 30th day and it's overlapped all of this to where there's two days that has gone by as opposed to the gap that was left in the previous in the previous example there was a gap that was left um, here it's overlapping so let's do the next one so we're starting from this first portal and we have to repeat that portal so we're going to go all the way around the sun has to rise it has to set and it stops here we go around again the sun has to rise it has to set it stops here see how it's repeating it's, it's doubling and repeating itself this is why I was saying that when it comes around on this the second time around and it says and on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part the sun is overtaking the night at that point so we did we do the last one let's go ahead and do the last one so we're at the fourth we're at the very last portal and it's going to go all the way around and it's going to go to the third portal which is down there somewhere so when you look at the analemma what you see is you see that all of this area all of this area the day just gets longer and longer and longer and longer and longer none of that counts now <laughs> like I said this is a theory I'm sure there is a way to calculate these hours to figure out exactly how many rotations it could be um, as far as it, to figure out whether or not the book of Enoch is correct and whether my theory is correct I'm just hoping that you will appreciate that this is not the Bible this is the book of Enoch at this particular time I didn't feel the need to spend a lot of time trying to figure out that calculation and trying to figure out whether or not it was true. I think it's a theory, it's just a theory as to where the extra day has gone. And the extra day could have easily been absorbed by this extra time that it takes throughout all of this area. All of it. Until you get down here. Then you start to lose a little bit of time as well then you'll start to lose some time but there's no indication in the book of Enoch that I noticed um, and I'm not sure there would be because it's part of the day that would have been overtaken here is the night that was overtaken by the day and that's why it was written like this that's why I believe it was okay so it's still 365 days but because of the requirements that are placed upon the book of Enoch that define a day which means which is that the sun has to rise and the sun has to set and there has to be a complete rotation therefore that is what defines the day the sun has to rise and the sun has to set in that rotation in that rotation so let's go ahead and finish up and on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part and the night has become eleven parts and the day seven parts and the sun has returned and entered into the second portal in the east and returned to on those and returns on those his divisions of its orbit for thirty mornings rising and setting and on that day the night decreases in length and the night amounts to ten parts and the day to eight is still decreasing and on that day the sun rises from that portal and I mean it's still being overtaken here and on that day the sun rises from that portal and sets in the west 
and returns to the east and rises in the third portal for one and thirty mornings and sets in the west of the heaven. And on that day the night decreases and amounts to nine parts, and the day to nine parts, and the night is equal to the day, and the year is exactly as to its days, 364. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll get bored and I'll do the calculations. I'm sure there's a way to do it if you if I can find something that gives me the times. Um, I'm sure there's a way to figure it out. And who knows? Maybe I'll get bored one day and I'll try and figure it out. I couldn't do that for, for this study. But I still wanted to present you with the theory. Anyway. And the length of the day and of the night and the shortness of the day and of the night arise. Through the course of the sun these distinctions are made. Literally they are separated. This is telling you about the um, about the, the length of the day and of the night and um, about the path and the the time of course. Okay. It's telling you that the day and the night are literally separated but here it is defined by the course of the sun but literally they're separated we know they have to be separated in order for the sun to overtake the the night but there may be more information about that as we move through um, as we get through the moon there may be even more distinctions that need to be made so it comes that its course becomes daily longer and its course nightly shorter. Uh, that's because of we're heading north. And this is the law and the course of the sun and his return as often as he returns 60 times and rises, for example, i.e. the great luminary which is named the sun forever and ever. And now this is odd that they were used 60 times when there are clearly months that have 31 days. But it's not a big deal. It's just odd that they would call out 60 days like that. The great luminary which is named the sun forever and ever. And that which thus rises is the great luminary and is so named according to its appearance. According as the Lord commanded. As he rises so he sets and decreases not and rests not and rests not but runs day and night and his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon but as regards but as regards size they are both equal there wasn't much information there so that is the study that is my theory about the 364 days I think that's all the commentary that I have as well. So I will talk with you in the next video.